day is officially moving. You're not going home. We'll see ya. They are now heading out. That's so sad. They are officially on their way to Utah without me. Welcome back to another video on the Brock and Boston channel. You guys, today, something really, really sad is going on. As you guys can probably tell from the thumbnail and title, the twins are splitting. We'll see ya. So, Brock, what are you doing? I'm going home to see my girl. You're not going home. You're going, to, going Utah. to Utah. No, I'm just kidding. Girl. Our second home. Yeah. He's going to go visit his girlfriend, Kesley, hang out with her for a bit. Take her on a day. Fun. Do all that and he is actually gonna film it too. So make sure you guys are subscribed to see that video okay, check it out. So you're flying down there with our mom She has a couple of meetings and stuff down there So you'll go down with her and then how many days are you gonna be staying down there? I believe I'll be down there for four days, which is actually supposed to be five days, but we can get the flight scheduled right, so. Wait, so what day do you come home? I would come on Monday, but I'm coming home. Home on, on Sunday? Sunday, yeah, I'm coming a day early. It's just a day, but still. I know, one day that you can't see Kesley, which is so sad, so you better make the best of the time there, right? Yep. And if you guys aren't wondering why I am going, I'm actually staying back. Me and my dad both are. And we're going to pack up the entire hotel room. We have so much stuff back here. We're going to pack it all and bring it to the new house because we'll be moving in there. And like the way it happened, so we're actually closing on our house the day that we were supposed to leave to Utah. And me and my dad, we don't have to go down there for any other reasons. And so we're just like, might as well stay here and get the house packed. So that's why I'm staying here. So this is entire hotel is super messy, but this is where we have been staying for the last little bit. Brock has all of his things packed up and ready to go all in there. It's just so sad. Brock, I feel like you're moving out. I know, I am. You're gonna be leaving me forever? I'm leaving for college right now. I know. No, imagine if it was that. He has all this stuff done on the computer. No. But I miss you. It's gonna be a tough couple of four days. Yeah, Okay, so it is the next day, as you guys can probably tell, because I'm in a different change of clothes. But I am packing up everything because I'm going to school today, and Brock isn't. So this will be my first time, like, driving alone in pretty much Tennessee, because we haven't been driving alone. We've always been driving together. So I'm packing up all my things and getting ready to go. They are now heading out. Do you miss us? Yeah. You'll be gone for four days? No. Is it four days? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and we come home Sunday. Okay. It's not that bad. Dad and I will just be moving in and stuff while you guys are gone. Oh, thanks. Look at all the stuff we have to move in. It's, I mean, that's quite a bit, but not a lot compared to like the actual house. <laughs> okay. Okay, love you. Love you. Sad. They are officially on their way to Utah without me. Well, actually, no, I'll be able. Yeah, they pretty much are leaving me here. But I think we're actually gonna go down to Utah in like a couple of weeks or maybe for like our fall break or something. And we're gonna go like see all, all of our friends. So I'm just waiting till that. But I should probably head out to school in just a couple of minutes. So Brock is at the airport. We just finished our early morning class. It is now seven o'clock and we're heading over to school. Got my buddy here, Chase. What's up? And I'm gonna go there. How long is school? Like eight hours? No. Something like that. Something Six, miserable. seven. It's so long. So we're gonna head over there. I actually have to work. I have to go there earlier because I need help with my math stuff and my math class. So let's get going. Well, you guys, it is actually not after school because I am now at the new house. Today is officially moving. We're moving into our house and I cannot flip and wait. We've been in a hotel for like 30 days or something like we'll rental than the hotel, but it feels like it's been forever. So we are finally moving in. We got to the house. Well, last night we were packing forever and I didn't film any of it because it's like packing and like when you're trying to like get everything done, it's like hard to film. So I didn't film any of that, but I'll be filming a lot today. And so right now it is 7.30, the big truck that's coming with like a bunch of like new furniture and stuff that we ordered like months ago is coming. And then I'm just gonna try to get my room together all done. Brock's still in Utah. He's hanging out with his girlfriend and hanging out with all of our family, which I'm kind of sad seeing all those videos, but also I'm like so excited because we're gonna move into the house. So we also stopped at Chick-fil-A this morning to grab some drinks and to grab some breakfast, which was super good. But yeah, I need to go inside. I need to start packing up all this stuff that's like in the garage and I need to take it to my room and all that. Okay.
Okay, so they got some things put in like that Well, there's still like a little bit of things that they need to do But we at least have a stove if you look over there It like it's so tiny like it doesn't fit in between where it's supposed to be But hey at least we have one right and from the last video that we filmed these are actually black But now they're gold and I think they're so cool in here also they did do hold up is this locked? They actually did a lot to the outside area and I'll show you. So this is the backyard. They finished the stairs and stuff all over here and then they also added a bunch of trees. I don't know if those are staying there or what, but look at this. They have a bunch of trees. They have like the little basketball court area all done. They just need to add grass and stuff. But other than that, so exciting. So they're getting all the boxes, putting them all out here, and then me and my dad, we're gonna tell them where they're supposed to go. And we got kind of an easy job for today. I mean, last night we were moving so many things, but hopefully today will be- for us, because usually we're lugging stuff. Yeah, but the people are doing it, which is so, so nice. So we're just gonna tell them where everything goes, but there's so many boxes in there and look how massive that truck is. So do you guys wanna know like one of the funniest things, that, well, not funny, I mean, it kinda sucks, but so we had these tile people come over because there's like a little crack in like the seat of my tile. And so they were like gonna go and fix it. They are just gonna get like a little piece of like some sort of paste or something that you can put on there to fix it. But instead, they ended up ripping out the entire top of the thing. All of my tile is like ripped off from the top, which wasn't supposed to happen. And so the builder came over and told them like that's not supposed to happen so they're fixing it now But it's just such a mess and I also feel so bad because that would suck You like have to like rip out all this tile and then you find out you don't have to do it So anyways, it's just kind of a crazy mess over here so while they're doing that, I actually have this air mattress because my furniture isn't coming for like another week. And so I'm gonna be sleeping on an air mat for a while. So I'm like, might as well set it up, blow it up, and get my room all ready. Would you look at that? My bed is now done. I'm actually so excited to sleep on this tonight, so I'll actually have like a bed. And right now I'm in Brock's room, and look what they already have. So they have his dresser, they have like these shelf things. I don't know where those are going. Headboard, and then I don't know if I showed you guys this actually. Look at this, this is his little mirror. How cool is this? And then this is upstairs in like the little media room, just like right off of the stairs. They have this shelf going up. They have like these little seat things right here. I don't even know what type of like fur that is or something, but it's coming along. This is all the couch that they're gonna set together in just a little bit. So for the last little bit, I've been getting all these boxes. My mom had like a huge Target delivery. I was getting all that stuff. But you guys, right here, this is plates. And I think some of them broke in here, so I'm not gonna open this one. But how sad is that? Good thing we ordered other ones, but those are all just broken. And then the little dining area, look what they already have done. They have the chairs all set up, they have the table. They need to flip that over and then that will be ready. But things are just coming along. Okay, so they're loading up the stuff. Well, they had all the boxes and stuff out here. And this is probably, I'm guessing like a fifth of the boxes. Like, I'm not even kidding. There were so many of them. So I think they have like most of the furniture all put in. It's just like the matter of setting it all up. I'm up here in my bathroom, hanging out. No, I actually just came in here because I wanted to see if the towel was done and look at it, it's all done. So I'm gonna move in all my stuff, like all of my toiletry stuff. And I'm just gonna like put it in the cabinet and get my whole entire bathroom situated. Well, you guys, today has been a long day. I'm finally just laying down in my bed right now in my blow up mattress, but today was a crazy day. I'm gonna say that. We still have some unpacking to do like with just like little tiny boxes, but other than that, that's pretty much all we have left. So I will keep that in the next video that we're gonna be filming. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Like this video, subscribe below, and we'll see you guys then. Peace out. Peace out.